Hi everyone, it's Nadia Shea, your friendly Spidey, I mean application expert in Austin, Texas. I've been asked to show you my favorite assembly tips for SOLIDWORKS 2023. Assemblies are where the rubber really meets the road for us, so I'm excited to show you capabilities you've never experienced yet. Let's go! We always utilize assembly patterns to save time and clicks. It also helps with performance. However, we don't always carbon copy everything. Assembly level design configurations can sometimes be antithesis to patterns, not with SOLIDWORKS 2023. Any assembly pattern feature that supports skipped instances can also support configurations, which means less redundant pattern features that require configuring suppression state. Let's keep talking about configurations. Replace component sure beats deleting a component, inserting a new one, fixing mates, analyzing all the impact, especially in a multi-level assembly. I don't have time for that. I have candy to crush. You'll see options in 2023 to control replacement on various assembly levels, such as sub-assembly, parent assembly, or top level. You'll also see a preview window, which is an, makes it easy to confirm before proceeding. During the replace command, a rebuild error occurs due to a failed concentric mate. Mismatched face IDs can create the most follow-up work when we use replace components. Boy, do I have a tool for you. Check out Auto Repair, accessed directly from the In Context Toolbar or right-click menu. The Auto Repair tool will look for similar geometry, like the face, the vertex, the edge, and attempt to reattach any missing items. You're welcome. Using configured and non-configured components can make bill of material management, let's call that interesting. We can do it, but it's a bit manual, and sometimes we forget until we're trying to crunch out a drawing for a deadline. In SOLIDWORKS 2023, the option to use configuration name as a default BOM part number is added in the document properties. MLC Pro Tip, configure this in your templates for consistent BOM behavior amongst your team. MLC Premium Tip, get with our programming team and let us automate this option behavior as you upgrade your existing files. Let's move on to such as cuts. This is a critical tool as we ensure proper fit. My favorite end condition is any of the up to end conditions. Because if geometry changes, the features will adjust as well. MLC Pro Tip, use box select to select multiple components. This is really great, but be careful. This grabs toolbox components as well. That might not be ideal if we're using the propagate to parts features. My team won't like short toolbox parts. However, SOLIDWORKS 2023 will automatically remove toolbox components from the selection box and notify you to make sure that you are aware. This is critical if you and your team are using a shared toolbox library. If you work in the architectural, engineering, and construction industry or create products for them, I hope that you're taking advantage of magnetic mates. They're incredibly useful for layouts. If your design or product has configurations, magnetic mates are even more powerful because they're also configurable. You can suppress or unsuppress individual connection points. MLC Pro Tip, magnetic connection points respect visibility of the model that they're attached to, which means hide, isolate, and display states will help you focus on the areas where new connections are taking place. My personal favorite assembly tool is assembly visualization. I find it especially handy to visually analyze my assemblies. In SOLIDWORKS 2023, it's even more useful because functionality is being extended for lightweight mode. You will not need to fully resolve your assemblies to visualize properties such as mass or total weight. Tiny but power UI interface update is that the visualization menu is sorted alphabetically, making it super easy to find the property you remember the name of. Also, the rollback bar has been thickened for an easier mouse grab. Again, you're welcome. SOLIDWORKS will never stop improving large assembly performance. We now have an option to optimize lightweight versus resolve mode. This means that lightweight technology will be utilized as you load components in resolved mode. What does that really mean? It means you will no longer need to manually switch between resolved and lightweight mode, thus minimizing any of your distractions. What about sharing assemblies with others, specifically with neutral file types, <laughs> step files, in SOLIDWORKS 2023, you can export different assembly levels with the step export options. This means you can automatically create step files for top level, sub levels, and individual parts without having to manually export every level. Just another time saver from us to you. 
As you can tell, assembly features are some of my favorite to talk about. Don't forget to check out MLC CAD Systems 2023 What's New tutorial series. I will cover some of the assembly features I've mentioned today more deeply. We should be releasing that content on our website and YouTube channel in the upcoming weeks.